Okay, here's the unboxing of my Bronze Series 3 uh, shaver. Coming uh, easy to wrap box for Chris uh, gift. And here's what the shaver looks like. Uh, I do like the colors on it. It looks pretty cool, especially for the price. I think it was only like 30 or 40 bucks. But, uh, pretty much just comes with that and a razor. It is a wet, dry razor, so I'll go through the instructions. Be right back. Okay, so it says when you first get it, you're supposed to charge it for like four hours, and then after that, you really only have to charge it for an hour each time. I've let it sit here for over two hours charging, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a dry shave on half my face and a wet shave on the other half. Okay, here we go with the dry shave. I'm gonna shave half my face with the <coughs> dry shave and then jump in the shower and, uh, oh. Do a like a wet shave outside the shower with shaving cream just to see how it does. I'm not a big fan of the wet shave with the electric razors or even with the straight razor with that matter in the shower, but it's doable as long as you use shaving cream in the shower. I wouldn't advise just using soap or just doing a wet shave in the shower without it. But uh, anyways, here goes the uh, dry shave. I have a Panasonic Arc 5 that I use at home. It's easier to just put pressure and go straight real slow, but uh, most electric razors will tell you to move in slow circles. Uh, I can tell right away this one's pretty cheap, so uh, see how it does with the circular motion real quick. So to clean most of these, you just pop the top off somehow. I'm going to clean it real quick. Didn't really have too much in it, but it's a new razor, so I wanted to check.
Um, I'm actually surprised. I was pretty skeptical when I started out, but it did give me a really smooth shave. Mm, I mean, I did the circular motion. It did all right, but uh, uh, I can still see some stray hairs on there that's missing. But uh, it's a little iffy. I mean, if you don't want to spend the money, it's definitely worth it. But uh, me personally, I would spend a little bit more money and just get a better foil razor. I do like the foil razors better, but I think this was the cheapest foil razor they had in Walmart right now, though. So uh, I did have to push down a little bit hard to make sure I didn't mess anything. So I'm not a big fan of it. Personally, I wouldn't buy it. I would just... Uh, spend a little bit more money and uh get a better one i actually have the uh oh panasonic arc 5 i believe it's called that i use sometimes i still use a gillette fusion pro glide five blade power razor that takes the AAA battery uh some people don't want to spend the money on the blade replacement but i think it's definitely worth it i haven't found anything that beats that yet it's my favorite but, razor uh, uh, I think because it was so hard to do the dry shave, I'm not even going to do the wet shave with this one. I'm just going to switch sides and uh, do a comparison video real quick. This is a Panasonic Arc 5 I use, uh, pretty regular. Like I said, I just use it sometimes when, uh, sometimes I shower right off after work. I get off work really early, so I don't feel like uh, shaving. And then I get really busy, so I have to shave quick before I go to bed or in the morning. So I just use my... Panasonic Arc 5 razor. I think it's called an Arc 5. The model number is uh, ESLL41. I'll jump online and show you some prices afterwards, but here goes with the uh, Panasonic Arc 5. Just so I can show you the difference if you spend a little bit more money. Make sure it's clean real quick. Oh. Cool. One part on me go. I just had to clean it out real quick, pop it off just like that, just like the other one pretty much. That's how most of the foil razors are. Okay, here we go.
then when I'm all done, I just kind of give it a feel and feel for uh, any hairs that it might have missed. And I can just hold it there with my hand, pull it tight. Well, I think I'm just having a little bit of trouble because my stubble was so long, so. I'm a little bit more pleased with the other razor now. Seems like they're both missing a little bit. Well, I guess I was wrong. They're both pretty close to the same. I think the Panasonic Arc 5 is a little bit more comfortable, but the uh, the uh, Braun uh, Braun Series 3 razor is a pretty good bang for the buck if you're gonna get a cheap razor. It definitely gets the job done. So I'm pretty impressed since I compared it to another razor. So. I just think it's a waste of time to do the wet shave with the uh, foil razors anyways, but uh, yeah, I definitely get the Braun Series 3 